right now if you go into the internet one thing you see apostle johnson suleiman abc attack 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 also christians are happy about it i'm not holding a brief for him but i just feel led as part of my calling how do you attack and kill your own we forced him that for the second time he has made apology apologizing and yet you see see people throwing stones on him show me any preacher that is 100 percent perfect around the whole world without one state sometimes we even make preachers to apologize for what they should not even apologize for we put them under pressure how many of us are in the body of christ that's how when archbishop benzin was alive they castigated that man destroyed him until he went to glory now everybody is calling his name must we kill our generals and celebrate them after their exit when apostle johnson suleiman gives widows money you don't celebrate when he gives orphans money you don't celebrate when he help others you don't celebrate when he makes a mistake you amplify can we also amplify his good works what is wrong with the body of christ why are we so divided i'm not hypocritical in my statement i'm just i'm just injured the lord just spoke to me the reason why we are working as servants we are eating one another we don't understand the value of one another some say they are word-based preacher you gang up against prophets you gang up against people in power ministry and you call yourself preachers of the gospel which heaven are you going to which heaven which heaven the bible says a brother is overtaken in a fault let those who are spiritual restore such a one in the spirit of meekness let's take it overtaken with the same temptation how do you even judge how do you substantiate what is not real today we no longer have the holy spirit social media and gossip is the holy spirit we are so divided i'm talking because i've been through storms and i've seen how we can judge one another anyhow what if it is true what if it is not true who care whether it is true who care whether it's not true the most important thing is do you find joy seeing another person going down that's why when you wait and wait for that person to go down and the person does not go down he goes up you will die of hypertension you cannot bring down a man god has lifted up you cannot judge another man